One of my signature procedures is the Tinkerbell tip lift. It's quick, less expense, no downtime. The results are instantaneous and patients are so delighted with this major change. I'm Courtney and I'm getting a Tinkerbell tip lift done today. I've wanted to change my nose for quite some time. I have an event coming up, my mother-in-law's wedding, and there will be a lot of family photos, and I'm excited to not be worried about what angles everyone's shooting at me from. I've always been self-conscious about my profile and how it looks in pictures and meeting new people and thinking maybe they're judging me, even though they're probably not. My dream outcome would just be to have the tip lifted and a straight bridge. I've never had plastic surgery, but I'm excited to get it done today. I was always kind of worried that people would judge me for getting anything done, but as I've aged, I've kind of just said, screw it, do what makes you happy. It'll really help boost my confidence and show my daughter the confidence that I'd like her to have. I haven't done anything for me in quite some time since having kids. It'll help me just feel more comfortable around people, not thinking too much about everything, and I'm ready to just treat myself. I'm Dr. Kay DeRayraj. I'm a board certified head and neck surgeon and facial plastic surgeon in Los Angeles, California. And my practice is Beauty by Dr. K. I've been in practice for 20 years and my specialty is faces. I'm a facial artist. I do head and neck surgery, which includes the plastic surgery for noses, rhinoplasty, non-surgical interventions, lasers, and skincare. I see that there's a large dorsal hump mm -hmm. and I definitely see that downward tilt so the liquid rhino is two steps. Mm -hmm. I do about 90% of the procedure today on your first visit. Mm -hmm. and then we'll do a follow-up visit within 30 days. That's where we'll do finishing touches. Now the fun begins. I'm excited. I'm a little nervous for how it might turn out. Everyone's nose is different, so I don't really know what mine's gonna look like. Step one in my Tinkerbell tip lift is applying a numbing cream and that's a topical anesthetic to really anesthetize and make the procedure more comfortable. Step two is a really careful assessment of the face, the nose, and the anatomy. Step three would be marking facial proportions. I use a caliper, I define the nasal angles like the nasofrontal and nasolabial angles. Step four is the actual injection itself. I use very precise technique with micro droplets of filler placed to create exact contours along the dorsum and bridge of the nose all the way down to the tip. In shaping the nasal tip, I'll use a technique which I've developed to create almost like a cartilage graft with filler placement. So I'm visualizing in my mind's eye as I place the filler what I would do in the operating room with cartilage, and instead we're using filler to build the contours that will give very sharp tip defining points and elevation of the tip. The last step might be placing a neurotoxin or Botox to stop muscles that may traction downward on the nasal tip and give that extra perky elevation. Next, I'll apply some mild pressure, smoothen the contour of the filler and be sure that everything looks flawless. This is my favorite moment when I get to show you how everything looks. Are you excited to yes. see? I'm so excited. Here you go, ta-da. Wow, it looks so good. It's so pretty. <laughs> I'm trying not to cry. It looks so nice. Amazing. Even the front. I didn't expect such a change in the front, but it really changed the front too. All these years looking so at good. yourself a different yes. way. So pretty. I'm excited to see what my husband thinks. Ha, 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 ha.
I feel great. I feel like a new woman. I loved it. She did such a great job. It was everything I wanted. Perfect. I'm really excited to go to the wedding and take my family photos and just be really confident in all the pictures I'm going to be in. It's kind of unbelievable how much she can do with just a little bit of time and filler because it's such a drastic change. The Tinkerbell tip lift can last 12 months or longer. Some of our patients see results that even last 18 months. And I've had patients come back with a follow-up serial visit where after three sessions, it feels almost semi-permanent. Dr. K and I decided to straighten out the bridge and really lift the tip and give the Tinkerbell effect. And she also placed some Botox in there to help lift everything up. The pain on a scale of one to 10 was probably a one, if that. This has been such a popular procedure in my office. It's one of my favorite things to do because it brings patients so much happiness and satisfaction. It's always so rewarding to see them really enjoy this brand new look and confidence. Working with Dr. K was really great. She was sweet, she was really informative, let me know everything I needed to know, and overall it was a really great experience. It's literally almost like a magical procedure. The transformation is instant, the satisfaction rate is through the roof, everybody is so delighted and it just brings tears to their eyes to see this really magical transformation. So that's why I called it the Tinkerbell Tip Lift. So it's definitely really emotional seeing my nose. I've been wanting this for so long that finally getting to see it and see it change so fast was really amazing. In about 30 days, Dr. K wants me to come back and do some touch-ups and see if we need to tweak anything here or there. And I'm really excited to see what she thinks and what she says. When the filler starts to diminish, as it will, over the course of time, we can do touch-up visits and those can be placed nine to 12 months down the line. And with two or three serial touch-ups, filler has very long lasting effects. So we may start to find that it even has semi-permanent results. I would say almost every patient is an ideal candidate for liquid rhinoplasty. It's a good procedure for people who have had rhinoplasty and they want little modifications. It's a great procedure for people who are nervous about having surgery and they don't want to undergo the downtime expense or recovery. It's an excellent thing to try to see if it's the right procedure for you to change your nose and perhaps transition on to a surgical rhinoplasty. I'm excited to see what my daughter especially will think because she's so young and unfiltered. I'm hoping to teach my daughter that everyone has insecurities and if you can fix them, great. Don't let it bring you down though and always be your best self and love yourself. I'm so excited to just go show off my new nose to everyone. It was everything I wanted and more. Thank you for watching Refinery29. To watch more videos, click here. And to subscribe, click here.